How on earth has he given offside? Man? That is a shocking call by the assistant on the far side. This is a 3D image of FIFA's semi-automated offside technology showing a player in an offside position. Notice how it perfectly details the position of the player's limbs at the moment the ball was played. The folks at FIFA are back again with new technology for the Qatar World Cup. Four years after the introduction of the video assistant referee commonly known as VAR, we're now getting an upgrade to the offside technology. New hardware, new software. Ever since the dawn of civilization, we have been kicking something around for entertainment. My bad, wrong video. Semi-automated offside technology enables video assistant referee teams to make offside decisions more quickly and accurately. If you're new to VAR, here's a quick primer. The VAR is a team of offside referees who can interject when the referee makes a clear and obvious error for example, a missed penalty or violent conduct. VAR also checks when the ball crosses the goal line to ensure it's a legitimate goal, and during this process, they primarily check for offsides. If you need more information on offsides, check out the International Football Association Law 11 linked in the description below. The thing about offsides is that even the best on-field refereeing teams can miss it as the game is fast and the human eye cannot always see the point at which a player passes the ball and the point at which the receiving player touches the ball. What makes it tricky is that players have gotten really good at playing the offside lines and this makes it even harder for the assistant referee to judge if a player is offside. Additionally, some offsides are just too hard to detect and this is where the technology comes in. But why the upgrade to semi-automated offside technology? The introduction of SOAT is not only about accuracy but also about a fundamental principle of football, the flow of the game. This is Eric Cantona interrupting our transmissions, broadcasting live from the heart of Germany. For too long, we let liars and cheaters make a fool of a game. Look at this. Enough! Free-flowing football is what fans want. The whistle blow, the game starts, and you want it like that until the final whistle. This is what separates the beautiful game from sports like basketball and American football with built-in commercial breaks and endless stoppages in play. If we examine offside checks, we realize why it matters. It takes VAR an average time of 70 seconds to complete an offside check. That's a lifetime in football, and it gets increasingly longer with complicated offsides. According to FIFA, the new technology uses 12 dedicated tracking cameras mounted underneath the roof of the stadium to track the ball and up to 29 data points of each individual player, calculating their exact position on the pitch. The data generated from tracking players produces an alert indicating that an attacking player receives the ball in an offside position. The VAR officials then manually validate the decision. All of this should happen within a matter of seconds. So in this case, the introduction of semi-automated offside technology is to make the detection of offsides more accurate and much faster than the average time traditional VAR takes. The question is, how much faster? FIFA has yet to say. We're not only benefiting from high-speed cameras, but the football also gets an upgrade. The connected ball, as FIFA calls it, helps the offside checking process because there are sensors inside the ball that will send upwards of 500 signals every second. This is important when determining the kicking point. Because we're collecting so many data points from tracking players and from the connected ball, the offside line can now be drawn automatically. Here's another cool part of the new technology. The same data points used to draw the offside line will be transformed into a 3D image displayed inside the stadiums and on television. So the public gets to see in relatively quick time the decision-making process. Here's my hot take for successful implementation. If you hardly notice it, then I think it's a sign that it's more accurate and faster. 
I wonder what's the next stage for offside detection? Will Semi become fully automated by the next tournament? Do you think the technology will actually improve the flow of the game? Let me know in the comment section if you're excited about semi-automated offside technology. I appreciate you watching. Now if you made it this far, you gotta be liking the video and subscribing, right? See you next time.